you need to stop using Bluehost. You're way overpaying for service, you're getting an inferior experience, and you could be getting a way better experience somewhere else for just over half the price. But what are the biggest problems with Bluehost? The biggest problem I have is with the pricing. You're probably overpaying for your hosting because you don't know any better. Bluehost forces customers to purchase a 12-month subscription to open an account, but they heavily discount the first year. This leads to the perception that you're getting such a good deal, and for the first year, you are getting a good deal. $2.95 a month for the first year? So I only have to pay $35.40 for an entire year of web hosting? Sounds like a good price to me. What's the big deal? And that's true. That price is really affordable for the first year. But what happens when it's time to renew? That $35.40 year subscription becomes $131.88 at the time of renewal. And Bluehost does have the option to renew month to month after the first year, but the cheapest plan is $14.99 a month. And it's not just the pricing of the actual plans I dislike, it's the aggressive upselling. Clearly, Bluehost wants you to spend at least $100 on your first year with them. That's because when you select the basic plan and make it past the obnoxious pop-up trying to sell you the online store plan, you'll find the first year total for one year of basic is $107.16. Why? It's because they automatically check the boxes trying to sell you Code Guard Basic for $2.99 a month and SiteLock Essential for $2.99 a month. And to be clear, both of these are optional and you can uncheck the box and get that $35.40 initial price for the basic plan. But how many people aren't paying attention and figure, well, this is the cost of getting started with my website, so I guess it's fine. And by the way, if you do agree to both of these add-ons, the renewal price for another year of hosting next year with the add-ons is going to be $203.64. So next I tried clicking the Choice Plus plan and the first year to total was $101.28 with the upsells they had. This time it was just SiteLock Essentials for $2.99 a month because CodeGuard Basic is included in Choice Plus, but the plan is obviously more expensive than Basic. Funny how the totals for both of these plans come to over $100 for the first year with the way they select the add-ons. And if you left everything checked and took all of their suggestions, your renewal price for the Choice Plus plan is going to be over $250. Oh, and by the way, the cost of the web hosting discussed so far does not include a domain name. While Bluehost does offer a free domain for the first year with all of their plans, the renewal prices are outrageous. A .com domain is $19.99 a year to renew. For context, a .com domain at a registrar like Porkbun is $10.37 a year to renew. Oh, and domain privacy protection is only included for free in the Choice Plus plan or higher. If you take the free domain for the first year included in the basic plan, you're going to have to pay an additional $15 a year for who is protection. If you don't know what Whois protection is, it essentially protects your personal information from being publicly available on the Whois database. Anyone can go to the Whois database and type in any domain name, and they'll see the name, address, phone number, and email associated with the domain. Without Whois protection, your personal information is publicly listed, and nobody wants that. These days, it's standard practice for domain registrars to offer free Whois protection on any domain, but Bluehost is still charging for it. Combined Find that with the ridiculously inflated renewal cost of a .com domain, and you're going to be paying $34.99 a year for a .com domain with Whois protection at Bluehost on top of the cost of your web hosting. At this point, you might be saying, Christian, nothing in this world is free. What's the big deal? It costs money to run a website, so why are you being so hard on Bluehost? And that's absolutely true. It does cost money to run a website. In fact, one of the hosts I use and recommend is WP Engine. And and their basic plan goes for $300 a year. So what gives? Well, we need to look at what we're getting for the price. WP Engine is a managed hosting product with premium features like automatic daily backups, staging environments, and a much more reliable and faster hosting experience. Bluehost offers a similar product to this in their pro plan, and it costs close to $350 a year to renew. But in this video, I wanted to focus on the Bluehost basic plan, as I think this is the one most people are purchasing. So so what features are included? Well, you get basic WordPress hosting with a free migration tool and a malware scanner. Yep, that's pretty much it. Features like a staging environment, daily backups, free SSL, and domain privacy protection are all reserved for higher plans or available as paid add-ons. And by the way, a lot of the add-ons Bluehost tries to sell you are useless. You should never pay for an SSL 
certificate. That's because Bluehost literally offers a free SSL certificate via Let's Encrypt in the panel, and for some reason, they still try to sell you on a premium SSL certificate, even though you get no security benefit over the free one. And this new e-commerce package extra they're selling seems completely pointless. I honestly couldn't get a straight answer on what they're selling you. I read the description, and it says that they securely install the latest version of WordPress and WooCommerce for you, and they also provide you with specialized e-commerce features that allow your visitors to purchase products using familiar payment processors like PayPal, Stripe, and Venmo. It goes on to mention other features too, all of which are literally part of WooCommerce, and WooCommerce is free to use. You can use it on the Bluehost Basic plan, you can use it on any WordPress site. So don't pay for this add-on, I don't really understand what they're selling you. And speaking of things you shouldn't pay for, it's free to hit that subscribe button. No upsells here, you can just click that subscribe button and hit the bell so you won't miss when I release new videos. I think the only positive thing I can say about Bluehost is that the setup experience for WordPress is world class. They've clearly invested a lot of money streamlining this process and making it easy for beginners, and that is worth something. WordPress can be an intimidating platform to beginners, and Bluehost is making it much more accessible and easy to get started. But what happens if you hit a snag? Well, fortunately, Bluehost does offer 24-7 chat and phone support, but don't count on it being that helpful. I had several times where I was trying to migrate a website over to Bluehost for testing, and the free migration plugin they offer often doesn't work properly, so I would reach out asking for help to fix the problem, and they essentially just send me some help articles and tell me to do it myself. Also, the reply time on the live chat is horrendous. I've sat on live chats with Bluehost for an hour or an hour and a half and only gotten maybe six replies in that time span because every 15 minutes they send a message saying, thanks for your patience, we're still working on it, and it seems like you just get nowhere. So it's clear that Bluehost is not a good option for anyone, but where should you go instead? There's quite a few web hosts I've tested and enjoyed over the years, but I wanted to recommend ones with a similar offering to Bluehost. I'm essentially looking for a one-stop shop for shared hosting, domains, and an easy WordPress setup wizard. The first alternative that came to mind is DreamHost. DreamHost is one of three hosts recommended by WordPress.org alongside Bluehost, but I promise you DreamHost is a much better option. Their starter plan has the same first year promo at $35.40, but the renewal is a very reasonable $85 a year. DreamHost offers a free domain for the first year, and they charge the same renewal price of $19.99 for a .com domain. But unlike Bluehost, DreamHost offers free Whois protection for everyone, so you're saving $15 a year right there. Just a quick side note, you're always going to pay a premium to register your domain name with your web host. You can save some money by using a domain registrar like Porkbun, but then you're going to have to connect your domain manually with your web host using the appropriate name servers. This is not hard to do, and I personally register all of my domains outside of web hosts, but some people want the convenience of going to one website to renew everything associated with their website. DreamHost has a solid WordPress installer to help you pick a theme and plugins as a beginner, though it's not nearly as thorough as the Bluehost installer. Other than this, DreamHost beats Bluehost in every other way. They have daily automatic backups, a free migration plugin that actually works, and overall better performance, not to mention it's more affordable. Their customer service does take a bit of work to get to. There's this little chat button in the bottom right corner, but if you click it and start typing your question, it actually just searches their knowledge base, and you have to scroll down and say no, this answer wasn't helpful before it lets you talk to an agent. Then it redirects you to this other page where you have to fill out a form to finally start a live chat. So it's not rocket science, but there are a lot of hoops you have to jump through to talk to a human. Once you're on the live chat, DreamHost support reps are helpful, though they do take a while to reply similar to Bluehost. But overall, DreamHost is a much better option to keep everything in the same place than Bluehost. Another host I'd recommend as a Bluehost alternative is Hostinger. Their first year promo price for their starter plan is $35.88, and the renewal price after that is a very reasonable $72 a year. Unfortunately, you don't get a free domain included for the first year with the starter plan, but they do sell domains. A .com domain can be had for $16.17 with free Whois protection, 
making this one of the most reasonable prices I've ever seen for domains at a web host. Hostinger's H panel is where Hostinger really excels. They have a convenient setup wizard, though still not as good as Bluehost, but they make managing your website really easy. They do have this AI feature when you first set up your WordPress site that allows you to put in your business name and a brief description, then it will write some sample content to include on your website. Though I think this feature is a little gimmicky, I'm not sure who's actually going to leave the sample content. I think most people are going to end up swapping it out with their own copy as they build their website. The basic plan at Hostinger gives you automatic weekly backups, so not as good as the daily backups you get at DreamHost, but still an acceptable backup solution for someone who's just starting out. I've always enjoyed Hostinger's H panel, and I think the simple UI is one of the best in the hosting industry. Hostinger has always been really easy to reach too. They have this chat button in the bottom right corner, and the widget is kind of this mix of a live chat and an email system. You can start the chat right away and wait for a rep to join the chat, but if you have to go somewhere, you can close the window, and when a rep is available, they'll actually email you. Then you can reply back and forth via email at your own pace, or if you're working on your website a couple hours later, you can pull up the chat bubble on the panel and actually wait for the rep to join the live chat again, and then you can handle it live. This is great because one of my biggest frustrations with support from web hosts is the fact that live chat reps often take a while to reply, and you may only get one reply every 15 minutes. So if you have the chat window open for an hour, you may only get four replies, three of which are, hey, thanks for your patience, I'm still looking into the problem. And if you ever get a phone call or you have to go somewhere, chances are you're gonna walk back to your computer an hour later and the rep will say, hello, are you still there? I can't reach you. And they end up closing the chat. Then you've basically wasted an hour of your life trying to get the problem solved and the rep closed the chat halfway through the issue, not having having solved it, and it's a huge waste of everybody's time. With the way Hostinger has it set up, you can continue the conversation via email at any time, so you can ensure that the problem is going to get solved and nobody's wasting their time with these silly live chats that expire. DreamHost and Hostinger both have their downsides with the basic plans, but they are so much better than any plan you can get at Bluehost. If you do want a better experience at DreamHost or Hostinger, consider DreamPress or the Hostinger business plan. You're going to pay a little more, but you'll have features like automatic daily backups, a staging environment, and increased performance. In the case of Hostinger's business plan, the annual renewal price is only $12 a year more than the annual renewal price of Bluehost's cheapest plan, and you're getting an exponentially better experience. But keep in mind, even the cheapest plans at DreamHost and Hostinger are still going to provide you a superior experience to Bluehost and save you money. Another way you can save money on your website is by registering your domain at a dedicated domain registrar instead of registering it with your web host. If you wanna see my favorite domain registrars compared, I have an entire video on that you can check out here.